so here we are at January 3rd, 23rd, 23rd day of one of the last years of our lives as a human race, as a race, because we have decided, because a long, long time ago, Albert Einstein discovered the capability of nuclear weapons and gave it to gerbils, because the human race resembles more like like mice in a maze to me than like an intelligent form of life like you just put the cheese somewhere and give them guns and and none of this should be a surprise to me when you think that a lot of people most people believe that 2000 years ago god had a son who had superpowers like heat vision. And if they'll believe that, they'll believe anything. Like, there's no attachment to reality. You can... Of course they're going to say the virus is fake. Uh, <laughs> pretty funny, really. Uh, and no, they should not be allowed to, to, to drive. They should not be allowed to vote. They should not even be allowed to use cutlery. If they have that much of a lack of commitment to reality, to believe that 2,000 years ago, Superman existed and he had he could fly, Jesus could fly. You literally believe that, and you might counter with like, "Well, what have you? What do you? What have, what's so good about you?" Well, what's so good about me? What makes me better than you is that I believe that one plus one equals two. For starters, and that's enough. All you have to do is have the capability for logic. Um, because I mean, like, you, you, like, what hope is there for the human race? The hope is, I suppose, that the only people who should vote are people who can accept reality. That in reality, we don't know anything about what actually happened 2,000 years ago. There was no videotape. Uh, nobody, there's no proof. And if, if you don't respect science, then don't enjoy the fruits, the benefits of science. I, I, don't, I don't think we should be warning people who, people who don't accept reality. We should not be giving them weather forecasts. Just let the tornado come. And destroy them. And, you know, when the scientists can just watch, just let... Why are we saving people who end up just killing everybody? Why save the life? I mean, I guess it's the Batman question. Why save the life of somebody who's going to go on? But it's actually reality. Like, you can't. You can't. You can't save Hitler. The, the, the better decision is to just kill baby Hitler. And I know it's sound. It's horrible. It's horrible to have to face reality. <laughs> you end up with egg on your face. Either way, you lose. You got to make difficult decisions in life. It's part of being an adult, I think. 